Welcome YouTubers, YouTubers, you're just a bunch of YouTubers. Welcome to Cosmic Mind. I'm Cosmic Brian and I don't know what I'm doing right now, but hey, anyway, welcome you guys to an episode of Shoutouts and Show and Tell. I was going to call it Shout Outs and Show and Tell Episode 2, but then that would mean that that would mean that I would actually have to keep track of the number every time I did one of these, and I'm like, fuck, numbers. Anyway, so, if you guys end up liking this video, if you like what you see here in the cosmic realm, hit a like button, hit a subscribe button, join us here in our cosmic weirdness. But anyway, this sh this episode of shout outs and show and tell is going to be glorious. So let's just get it on. Um, a couple of the, I'm going to start off with a couple shout outs right off the bat. First off, my man, um, Tuco at Wax Ecstatic. Now, I've got this special, like, ancient box here that I that I keep my special trinkets in. And a couple of the newest special trinkets that I've received came from uh, Mr. Tuco. And they were for the contest uh, that he held recently. And, of course, there's the the old YouTube uh, vinyl community button there that he sent along. And then there's this bad boy, which is the uh, thumbnail of my channel or the logo or whatever the F it is. And then, um, then you got uh, th this one that I especially enjoy. Cosmic Brian says, wear your mind shields. And you're god dang right. When you enter the cosmic realm, you better have them on. I wear them. I wear them, and so should you. Anyway, uh, Tuco is uh, has an awesome channel. He, I mean, he's one of those cats that likes everything. I mean, he's into metal. He's into punk. He's into exotica. He's into like pop music. I've seen him show one end of the spectrum to the other and he's always entertaining and I dig the facial hair I think I've mentioned it before so yeah if you're not checked out Wax Ecstatic with Tuco then you better get your ass over there and get it done and another one that I mean everybody knows this cat in the vinyl community and like I said there's no rules here I don't have to shout out somebody that has 50 subs or 10,000 subs. So I'm shouting out, if you have 10,000 subs, I'm still shouting you out. So I'm gonna shout out this cat, Vinyl Richie. Vinyl Richie has been a, a, a steady uh, stalwart in the vinyl community. He's been known as the King Dick. He's been known as a lot of things, I'm sure. But he's uh, always shows some great punk. Man, I've bought so many punk albums because of what Vinyl Richie shows. And um, he's just a cat that doesn't mince words. He'll tell it like it is. And to me, that's a that's a real dude, you know? So, um, and I love it when he tells stories about like when he went to shows and stuff. Um, like I said, most of you out there know Vinyl Richie, but if you do not, for some odd reason, you've been on another planet, which I have been, but, um, you need to check out Final Rich. He's he he will not be disappointed, or you might be, but he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so anyway, um, another guy in the vinyl community. He's not super new, but you know he's already found his niche and he's settled in quite nicely into the 
uh, vinyl community, and that's Mike over at Hub Tunes. Now, Mike um, likes, I've seen it, the thing that attracted me to his channel was he showed a lot of psych records, but I've seen him show um, some great indie stuff. Um, I've seen him show some classic rock stuff. Um, man, I'd like to have a beer with Mike someday, man, because he, he's always talking about going out for a beer, so <sighs> Cosmic Brian's always down for going out for a beer, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, check out Mike at Hub Tunes. Uh, great channel. Um, and then another cat, a real class act in the vinyl community, JT from JT's Record Room. He shows some amazing stuff. He has this thing on Monday where he shows um, stuff that he found at the thrift shops. And he always shows some something really cool. He shows a lot of classic stuff. And I don't mean like classic rock, but just some of the classics. Um, I can't remember if he lives in like Vegas or some somewhere in that, in that area. And he's uh, very in tune with uh, because he has such a great musical background. Um, he's a musician himself. He's played with some really cool folks. And, um, but yeah, check out um, JT's record room. Always, always shows something great. Another one of those guys that shows everything. And Cosmic Brian's always attracted to those guys that, wait a second, I didn't mean attracted to those guys. Attracted to this. <laughs> Attracted to those channels that show uh, everything because I like everything. So, anyway, all right, now I'm going to show something that I got in the mail here recently. Um, a guy who doesn't make channels in the or doesn't make channels, I'm just going to hide behind this and come out and start over. Okay, this is a guy who doesn't make videos but always is there co lately commenting on my videos. I think he came over and subscribed in that Mazzy Loves You wave that uh, came over to my channel recently. But that's Ian Ballantyne. And Ian Ballantyne asked me if I was looking for a, a, a cool docking station for my mind shield. And I was like, hell yeah. So he sent me this cool little uh, little thing here, and I'll just kind of give you an example how this bad boy works. It, you just kind of put the old mind shields right there, and it hangs right on the nose there. Look at that! Isn't that cool as shit? He sent me that in, in the mail, but you know what? That wasn't it. I mean, he knows that us vinyl guys, we like to get a record or two in the mail. He sent me this really great, great CD. This is um, the Flaming Lips Heady Nugs from 94 to 97. Now this is early, early uh, Flaming Lips. This is a great little set of uh, CDs. It's got like stuff off of their Clouds Taste Metallic album. Man, this is just superb. This is the old Flaming Lips stuff that I really enjoy. Um, the stuff before they started doing like um, the Do You Realize uh, stuff and became more poppy. This is when they were still very alternative, very indie, very edgy. And I still think they've got that in them, but this is great. I, he must know that I like the lips. He also sent me this uh, Aerosmith Still Sealed Greatest Hits, which I am, you know, you don't see a lot of people talk about Aerosmith in the vinyl community. But Aerosmith is among one of my favorite classic rock uh, bands of all time. Hey, why don't we use the old, uh, hey, there we go. And then there's this, um, this is uh, a Crocus promo record right here. I think it's like a 12-inch uh, single. Um, it's got Let It Go on both sides. So yeah, I love Crocus. Crocus is a great metal band. Used to, I have a few of their albums and have listened to them uh, a lot. That's just all I'm going to say. A lot. Very creative adjective there. And then he sent me this uh, this brass construction record. This is uh, killer uh, funk. And, you know, Cosmic Brian digs his funk. 
And look at these guys. This is this is so great. Let me see if I can get this sucker out of here. Take off the old. There's the guys on the back. Ah, oh, this is Afros galore here. I mean, we've got a, a 8.5. There's a nine. Um, I like this guy's do right here too, but this guy's afro right here is approaching perfection on a 10 scale. But yeah, the brass construction, great funk. I've really been enjoying that since he sent it. And then this little wild gem right here. This is fantastic. This is um this German cat. It's I'm not sure how I'm gonna pronounce this. I'm gonna try and go with Hano. Uh, hey, hey. Capello, and I mean, look at—he's got the old. Um, oh God, no! I'm gonna space off the guy's name, but he—he's got the 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 Ray Bans and the bleach blonde hair there. Um, but this is fantastic. This is like a cunt. Got a lot of. It's German. It's all in German. It's country. Uh, it's Andy Warhol was the cat I was trying to think of. But it's all in German, but it's like, imagine if it was like Marty Robbins. It sounds like that. It's Marty Robbins, but all in German. I love this, and I love, I would have bought this if I seen it at the record store just for the cover alone. This is fantastic. I dig it so much. And then uh, he also included this sealed uh, Deviant record, uh, Disposable. Now, I do have this album. Um, I'm going to try and figure out, I'll probably VCLT one of the copies. I just have to figure out which one I want to hold on to. Um, but man, Ian, I really, really appreciate the gift of music. Um, great stuff, man. I really appreciate it. And of course, the Mind Shield uh, docking station. Very creative. I love it. So um, I'm going to show a few records that I've got. Um, this is a CD that I picked up. They were for free at the record store I go to called Planet Score. And it's this little local outfit called Sewer Urchin. It's called um, Kill the Elderly. So it's got this guy with, he's getting his head blasted out by a, a revolver there. It says free. It says St. Louis Thrash Punk Crossover. That's exactly what it is. Songs like um, uh, The Plague, Willing to Kill, Olivia Neuter John, um, My Racist Dad, Coming on a Jet Plane. This is great. Um, I love that little free CD. And then still going with a little local flavor down here is this album by a band called The Retros. Uh, and this one's called Inner City Rockers. Now this this was a local power pop, uh, power or punk pop band from back in the late 70s, 1979. And these guys um, played a lot of like um, bowling alleys, VFW halls, parties, and they got quite a following down here in the Big Lou. And um, they they were, got a chance to play for the Ramones opening up at one point. Um, they included this nice little uh, flyer of some show where look at a dollar fifty was the cover to get in. Um, no name disco Westport Plaza the retros. And it's got a picture of all of them there. This is really cool. Um, they actually um, had a, they got a chance to go into the studio. They laid down all these songs on four track um, in a, just a, a matter of a few hours. No overdubs, no um, no second takes, and they thirty. It took thirty years. This thing got shelved. It took thirty years for it to get released, and I was fortunate enough to find. A copy down here I think it's 137 of 200 copies and yeah I was happy to get it it's pretty cool it's like uh, late 70s power pop punk stuff and then I picked up another album down here um, or not yeah, not down here I actually sent for this one but this is uh, Sandy Nelson the great drummer Sandy Nelson it's called Cheetah Beat and um, this thing is so great. This has got lots of fuzzed out guitar. 
Um, it has an unknown band, unnamed band playing with Sandy, and but they, there's lots of they're all covers. It's all instrumental uh, songs like Freak Beat, Mustang Sally, I Need Somebody. The opening track, um, Happenings, 10, 10 years time ago, is so fuzzed out. It, this kind of reminds me of one of those uh, psychedelic exploitation records. Um, but yeah, this is probably among Sandy's best if you're into that kind of music. Going back to the record here. I'm going to have to move a little quicker here. Um, this is another band. Um, this band right here is from my home state of Iowa. Uh, a garage rock band called Gone. Um, from Keokuk, Iowa. This one's uh, a compilation of their stuff from like 64 to 67 or something like that. Um, got a couple pictures of singles here. Uh, they were kind of known for a song called Blackout of, of Greet, Greetly. But just a great garage band from Keokuk, Iowa. That doesn't even hardly appear on the map, let alone, um, I mean, Iowa? Come on. But this is fantastic garage rock. And I found it took me to go to St. Louis to find this thing. It's on Beat, uh, Beat Rocket Records. Amazing uh, garage rock, good stuff. And then I picked this up down here, another garage rock band, a French garage rock band called The Squares. And that's what we're listening to back here. It's called Trapped in a Square. These guys are all in their like mid 40s when they recorded this. And this stuff sounds like something right out of the late 60s. It's, it's so good. I mean, I, I crank this thing fairly frequently since I've had it. The squares. And then going back to the old shout outs, um, I'd like to shout out um, my good friend Eric at Plastic Soundwave Call. Now me and Eric have uh, done Zoom calls. We've texted each other, we talked to each other on the phone. Eric has become a good friend of mine here in the vinyl community. And man, that dude does not have near enough subs. He, his production value on his videos is top notch. His collection is cool. He likes stuff like King Gizzard, the OCs. Uh, he likes a lot of indie rock. He does this show with his brother where they do this connections thing. Um, really great channel. Has a whole slew of cats if you like. You know, like Steve, you think Steve Carlson's cat? You know, with him and his cat? This guy has cats going in and out of frame all the time. But yeah, um, I highly, highly recommend uh, Plastic Eric from Plastic Soundwave Call. Please, please go over and check that channel out, god damn ya. And then um, uh, there's a couple of guys that I like to call the Randys. It, and I always get them confused. In fact, I've, I've commented or replied to their comments in, the, in my comment section thinking that one was the other. And that the first one is Randall Nelson. Now, I commented thinking he was Randall Weaver. When, so, I mean, I'm, I'm an idiot. But Randall Nelson has... Oh, there goes the dog. Randall Nelson um, is another one of those guys that likes everything. Um, punk, classic rock, psych, uh, indie, um, just everything. And, and he's got just a great channel. He's a super, super cool guy. Really cool guy. You need to check him out. And the other Randy, Randall Weaver, that I like to call the dream, as in dream weaver, get it? And I don't know if Randy likes that when I call him that, but it's just kind of stuck now. I, I'm sorry, Randy, but it's just kind of what I call you now. And we got this kind of ongoing joke about the Gary Wright album and whatever. But anyway, another guy that listens to everything, shows a lot of great content, very interesting, very knowledgeable, and again, another really, really nice guy, really cool guy. So check out the Randys. 
And then one more shout out is another guy that I've been watching and he is probably in my top three favorites in the vinyl community. And the name of the channel is 33 RPM Vinyl. And his name is Jeff. He sh his collection is vast. And he always does, every time he shows an album, there's a little needle drop in the background that gives you a little sample of everything he shows. Psych, classic, classic rock, um, doo-wop, um, ambient. I mean, everything. This guy has it. I mean, I mean he's got a, a whole catalog of great videos, too. But yeah, you have to check out one of my favorite and what has been a true inspiration to me in the vinyl community is Jeff at 33 RPM Vinyl. Now I'm going to show just a couple more records and I'll call this done, but here's an album I picked up down here. I never see it around, so I had to grab it. It's a little bit of, bit of a misrepresentation. Now, if you look at this, you're thinking the Seeds, right? Oh, cool, a Seeds album, right? It's the Seeds and Sky Sacks and Bad Part of Town. And you got the back there, it's pictures of the band, the Seeds. But really, truly on this album are maybe four Seed songs that were supposed to be on, an, on what would have been their final album. The rest of it is Sky Sacks and um, singles that he released prior to the Seeds as a uh, felt and as his, under his real name Richie Marsh and it's really like old like um, not garage but just um, like pop uh, six early 60s pop I mean you can kind of hear in his voice the the roots of what he would do in the seeds but don't be fooled this is not uh, uh, truly a, a seeds uh, album but I kind of dig the songs that he does I mean I like that kind of music but I picked that one up and then um, I had a big hole in my Alice Cooper collection and I was able to nail this bad boy and that's uh, Alice Cooper 80 flush the fashion look at Alice there I think this is one of uh, the albums from his blackout era he looks pretty unhealthy there very skinny made up haircut um, but this has the song We're All Clones and here's another kind of wild picture of, of Alice right there sunken cheekbones thinned out guy um, but I love the song We're All Clones he also does a great cover of my favorite garage band of all time Music Machine he does a cover of Talk Talk now a lot of people pan this record but I love it. I love the new waviness of it. It's still heavy. It's still got that Alice Cooper like tongue-in-cheek uh, dark humor. And um, there's not a song on this album that I don't like. And I needed that one to fill out the collection. So and sometime I'm going to do an Alice Cooper feature video because I have a lot of his records. So anyway, I know this is long. Um, they tend to get that way in the cosmic realm. Sorry. But anyway... Um, I appreciate you stopping in. Um, please check out the channels that I mentioned today. And for God's sake, stay cosmic. Bye-bye.